let me tell you this. From today, after this service, I'm going to prophesy, don't worry. But from today, can you go and give thanks to God? Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. In the situation that you're in, can you go and thank God? Amen. The pain that you're feeling, there's a prayer that I call a prayer of thanksgiving. Amen. You know, that prayer is a prayer that you pray without complaining. Amen. Without looking on your problem and say, but God, why this? Amen. Many people, what you must do, you must learn how to approach God. Amen. The Bible says he knows your problem. He knows what you are facing. Amen. The only thing you can do is to Amen. go before him and say, Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank Amen. you for this pain that I'm hearing. Thank you for this blessing that you're about to give me. Amen. Because even if you complain, you're wasting your time. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Your complaint won't help you with anything. Understand that the God that you are praying to, the Bible says he knows even before you pray what you want to pray for. So now, from now on, can you change your prayer? You know, how you pray. Oh, you hear me? Change Amen. how you pray. You go before God. You know you've got a problem, right? Mm -hmm. You go before God and say, God, thank you. Thank you. I'm really saying thank you. Amen. For everything that I'm facing. Amen. And let's see if God won't, won't extend his hand to you. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. I was telling people, I said, David knew how to approach God. That's the reason why he has been given so many chances. Because he was not going to God and say, God, oh, but why are you doing this? Why are you not giving me a job? Why my business is not growing? His, his eyes are always on you. Amen. Remember the Bible says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by God. Amen. Are you hearing me? So now, when you go before him and say, God, thank you. I call it a thanksgiving prayer. You thank him in your problems. You thank God in your difficulties.